The North Dakota State depth chart still has Quincy Patterson listed as the number one quarterback. For those that might not know, a depth chart tells you who is likely the starter and ranks the players at each position on the field. It, of course, doesn't actually mean anything, though, because come Saturday, well, all bets are off. So despite Cam Miller having won the last two games for the Bison, he remains number two on that depth chart. And Patterson's status health-wise has received little clarification. We were told he suffered a shoulder injury against Missouri State. And after giving him plenty of rest last week, head coach Matt Enns said they hope to get a better idea on his status throughout this week, which, of course, could be just an extra wrinkle for South Dakota State to have to prepare for this weekend. Either way, no matter the chatter amongst fans and how you may line the two young quarterbacks up against each other, the two remain friends. When Patterson was first named the starter this fall, his first words were in support of Miller. And today, Miller, the expected starter, with plenty of praise for the man he calls one of his best friends. Since, since the first day that he came in, him and I have been like best friends, you know, and uh, and I had told him when we started camp that it didn't matter who the guy was. Uh, we just wanted to win ball games, and I was going to be for I was going to be there for him. It when he got the job. Um, so you know, I feel like right now since he's hurt, he's kind of taken a step back and has really played the role that I had played for the past eight weeks, and he's done a great job. And I can't thank him enough for being there for me. The Bison travel to Brookings this weekend to take on ninth-ranked SDSU, the 112th meeting all-time between the two, and the 18th Dakota Marker matchup. The Bison are looking to take back the Rock on Sunday. Told me today it hurt a lot to see it taken away, especially on their home turf, so they'd love to repay the favor. We'll hear from some guys about that tonight at 10. And no matter who plays, it's going to be a whale of a game. It always is, yeah. And there's a little bit of you know vengeance on the line here because SDSU won in the Fargo Dome, snapped a win streak. The Bison don't win often in, in the Fargo Dome, so don't lose often in the Fargo Dome. All right, thanks. Thanks, Beth.